Welcome to the CNC Auto Show, and what can we help you with? Enjoying the show today, guys, but I've got a question about things going out of stock at dealerships. I mean, mainline 2008 Ford Escape with bad ABS brakes, and it's got a fading pedal, which means the mechanical side of the ABS valve has gone bad. Electronics still good, but the mechanical valves are bad. Mm -hmm. And you can't buy that from Ford. Yep. You're not the only one that's going go that's going through that one. We waited for a pretty long period of time. Uh, I think we finally got the part earlier this week, but I'm not even going to tell you how long we've been on hold for that part uh, for the same type vehicle. Uh, now, I have gotten those from the salvage yard before. This particular one, they didn't because they're very. Sometimes they're very specific they to the vehicle. They're extremely specific ford is very bad about having mm -hmm. uh, multiple you yeah. know specifics where they won't work with one another yeah you might have the same year model year make model but it, it'd be a different unit on there and that's um it's worth calling because i have we have gotten uh abs modules or units valve assemblies from salvage yards before but, again, you have to be very careful to make sure you're getting the right one. And before you try to install it, match it up Absolutely. and say, yes, this is the right one. Preferably get the right one. But that module is one of the examples of what I was talking about on some parts, either very difficult or almost impossible to get anymore. They are. There's a lot of this, a lot of parts, just like you said, that they're just not out there. Yeah. Now I will tell you, Paul, now this is not a sure thing, uh, but what happens, two things can happen inside that ABS unit, either the tension on the spring that is supposed to close the valve is gone and it's not going to close anymore and, and cause the brake pedal to feel firm, or there's a chance some trash is inside there. I have had a few cases to where you can do a brake flush on that vehicle and it could fix it, but you it would be a gamble. You may you may do it and you may waste money doing it. Or you may it may solve the problem. Um I would recommend putting I've a new one on there, but if you can't get one, then you can't. I've run into three of these now. All three of them failed after a ABS event. Slick, mm -hmm. you know, rain weather, they hit the brakes, the ABS activated normally. Next day, pedal goes to the floor. Yep. This is a design problem in that unit, and Ford just throws their hand up. You would think at a thousand bucks a unit, they'd keep making those. Yes, I, I agree with everything you're saying, and everything you're saying is absolutely correct. We've run into a fair amount of them also, and we've had a lot of trouble getting them. Uh, one or two, we've done the brake flush and it's solved, but the majority of them, it, it does not. And um, now, with us just getting one, I don't know if that meant that the market loosened up and there's more being made now. So you may recheck and see if one's available now. Uh, but it, what you're saying is correct. May not be able to get one for a long period of time. Yeah, we've had the we've only run thing into that. that me is the brain is separate from the mechanical valve assembly because mm -hmm. the the logic brain in there is keyed to the vent. Yeah. So if you can get a good used one, you could separate the good brain from the old defective mechanical valve and hopefully marry it up kind of Frankenstein-like yeah. and get a good unit back. Yeah. And usually you can do that. Usually you can take the module off of one and put it over to the uh, to either a used one or a new one and, and you're okay. So, uh, yes, that you, you mentioned in that is a perfect example of what we're saying that of how a salvage yard can be a huge benefit at times. Now, of course, that along with so many other parts, there's some trim items uh, that on vehicles that you used to just be able to go buy and order and have the next day. Now, a lot of items are just not available. Uh, I think a lot of this happened when the General Motors and all of the others did the bankruptcy and 
uh, reconstruction of their business. They just looked at different things and said, hey, this is not profitable to make this anymore. Let's don't do it. Yeah, it's usually after about five years, you can't get a lot of stuff new. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So great yeah. question, right, Paul. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And yeah, that was a that was a great